Should we, can, can, we, can we say a few words about Robin Hood other than the accent? Take it away. OK, well, okay, because you, look, you've seen the film as well, so you know, you're, I think you should be equally involved in this. Here is... You don't the, mean uh, that. No, I, well, I, I say it in passing. Here is the other stuff about Robin Hood. Essentially what you've got here is a problem of what the movie is and what it isn't. Okay, now the things that it's been compared to are, they've said, well, like it's Batman Begins in that it takes the story back to its origins, back to the dark, gritty roots that it throws out all the, the campery and it, you know, it makes it darker and edgier and, you know, therefore more violent. The story is that at the very, very beginning we see Richard the Lionheart who is, you know, sacking towns and plundering them entirely for, you know, a bad and e evil, e evil ends. He dies very, very early on. Then the Russell Crow character ends up well he's in the he gets put in the stocks at the beginning but then he ends up taking the crown back to England through a sort of convoluted route and coming back and pretending to be somebody else so it's kind of got overtones of the return of Martin Gare because he comes back and he says that he is Kate Blanchett's husband and Max von Sydow's son in order that their family may be kept together and also in order that he may find a place and through doing that he then turns into this other character who of course actually turns out to be essentially gladiator so those are the three films that it clearly refers to in all the interviews and all the talking about it what they've said is well it's not Robin Hood Prince of Thieves and it's not Robin Hood Men in Tights and okay it's not Robin Hood Men in Tights that is true and it isn't Prince of Thieves, but the fact that it isn't Prince of Thieves isn't necessarily a good thing. You see, the thing with Prince of Thieves is, I know that we're all laughing about it now and mocking it and saying, you know, well, wasn't it rubbish? Well, yeah, it was a silly movie. Well, you movie might think had... that. Well, I quite enjoyed I... it. No, this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is actually... Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, saying, saying that, the, that the great virtue of the new Robin Hood is that it's not Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, is perhaps not in itself necessarily such a great thing. I mean, for example, OK, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, it, it, this new version has got better hair because we don't have the Kevin Costner feather cut issue. But we do have a poster which is essentially the same image of Robin's face with the bow. And there are certain moments of, you know, flying arrow action, which, as far as I'm concerned, are post um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. You can, you can deny the heritage all you want. They are taking something from that. The second thing is that as you... Dis I mean, you know, there's the joke about that we always made about Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, is that, if, if I remember rightly, Kevin Costner, he lands on the White Cliffs of Dover, right? And then he walks the length of Hadrian's Wall in, in order to end up in, in, in Nottingham. That's, That's right, one. isn't it? Yeah. That's the one. OK, fine. So we don't get that kind of geographical inaccuracy, but what we do get is the geographical inaccuracy of, you know, of Russell Crowe's voice, which does the that ridiculous journey, even if his character is putting his feet in the right place. The other thing is that essentially at the heart of it you have the same problem that they had with Prince of Thieves which is that the dark characters, the nasty characters, in the case of you know Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves you have the Alan Rickman character who has all the best lines in the movie, who famously cancels Christmas, who famously dominated the screen so much that what happened was that allegedly Kevin Costner went back into the cutting room and said look you've got to recut the movie to balance it out. Now in the case of the new Robin Hood the story is that it began originally as an idea to do a film about the sheriff who actually actually ends up being a very sidelined character and Russell Crowe was going to play that character and then it's no actually what we want it to be is we want it to be a Robin Hood movie but you're still wrestling with the fact that you've got in the shape this time of the character of Mark Strong who's the guy who is negotiating the traitorous deal with the French he actually ends up being the person who dominates the screen and every moment that he's on he is more interesting than Robin Hood who is you know, broadly speaking, the heroic gladiator character and doesn't have, as far as I'm concerned, enough interest, enough character flaw, enough character dynamic to make him dominate the screen. And the other thing is that when Russell Crowe was on uh, on our show and he was talking to you, he was barely speaking to me, obviously, but when he was talking to you about the, his conversations with Billy Bragg, about, you know, the, 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 the forestry decrees and about what was going on there in relation to Magna Carta, Oddly enough, the conversation about all that stuff was far more interesting than seeing it portrayed on film. And what bothered me most was, since this is a um, an interesting take on that, and you know, it, it's not. It's, it's not perhaps totally ripping the history apart, but it's taking a new look at it, and it's looking at it from a perspective which I would find attractive. Why am I not more gripped? Why am I sitting here thinking I want Mark Strong to be on screen again? Why am I thinking I want to see the French, you know, going, ah, 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 you know, doing that, rather than actually listening to Robin doing the kind of increasingly pious stuff about sowing, you know, the seeds in the, in the fields in the middle of the night when no one can see? And I think the problem is 
in the end, that for all the things that are interesting about the movie, for all the things that are interesting about the ideas of the movie, watching the movie isn't that much fun. And say what you like about Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, it was fun. I think it's it, a lot more fun than you're making out. I think people will what, go... What, the new see, Robin Hood is? Yeah, the new one, yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, of course, most of what you say has a point to it, but people will go to 12A, you can take the kids, it's a good new Robin Hood film. It's got Do you to... think the kids will like this movie? Because I, I don't think they will. I think they'll get bored. I think that what they will wonder is, you know, who am I rooting for? Which which character am I most interested in? Why aren't I getting more of Mark Strong? I don't think it's going to play to that to that young audience. Yeah, well, I think you're probably wrong on that. I, th I think they'll, I think they'll probably like it. I think it I think it takes it. You know, it's a 12A, so you can take pretty much uh, anybody to it. I, th I did wonder whether they were going to make it more gladiatorish and go to the 15 certificate because that has never been done. If they wanted to do something. Uh, that really hadn't been done before. They could make it uh, really quite tricky and, and much stronger, but they didn't do that. And uh, and I think to start with, you think, hang on, they've got the rolled up parchment. They're telling the story, you're thinking this is going to become Pythonesque. But I think by the end yes. of it, they get away with it, and it's good fun. Anyway, shall I give you some listeners' comments? Yes, but but just 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 oh, just there to are more of the, yours to go first. No, okay, no, 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 no. Basically, one of two things will be true. I think I don't think the movie will perform very well at the box office. What you're saying is that you think it will. Let's take a, um, a measure on this in three weeks' time and see how it's done. I think it's I more fun than you're saying than you than you're making it sound. Okay, and but but whereas I wouldn't usually say this, I think that in the end the proof of the pudding will be in whether or not it's a blockbuster, and I don't think it will be because I think for exactly as you said, and actually you have you are quite right about this, because it isn't twice it hasn't in one gone, program. Wow. Yeah, tw exactly. Stop it. It hasn't gone the whole hog and become a 15 certificate movie. It ends up falling between two stools. It doesn't want to be Prince of Thieves, but it doesn't want to be Gladiator either, and so it ends up being Robin Hood Men in Strides, and that's. Not enough.